Millions of gallons of water are changing watersheds in Clearwater County, Minnesota. How did this happen? Enbridge's contractor, Michaels, is pumping water from Walker Brook Valley over the Laurentian Divide and dumping it into Mississippi's watershed. This is the location northeast of the Enbridge worksite at their Walker Brook second crossing of their new Line 93 Tar Sands Pipeline in Clearwater County, Minnesota. And we can see that this 45 degree water that's being pumped out of the ground is literally just consuming the land. And even over to the east through the small culvert under the road, they, the land is being filled by water. This water would be running out Walker Brook over to the Clearwater River through the Red Lake River on to the Red River of the North and the Hudson Bay. But instead, now this water is going to flow down to the Northeast here where these trees are and into uh, Daniel Lake, just to the Northeast there. And then on over through Dahlberg Lake and Moose Lake and other lakes until it gets back into the Mississippi River heading down to the Gulf of Mexico. So you can see tremendous amount of open water in this area. This is very warm water that is going to be impacting the ecosystems in a strange way. The U.S. EPA say they're working with Minnesota's Pollution Control Agency on this issue and that Region 5 will stay in discussion with both them and the Army Corps of Engineers on this concern. But drone footage taken on January 4th shows this issue just continues to get bigger. At this point, they're literally pumping water to the south dewatering pit where it flows back downhill only to be pumped again. We can see water expanding throughout this landscape with unknown impacts to not only the land, but the water bodies affected downstream and both watersheds. The Hudson Bay, which is having millions of gallons of water that would be going its way, diverted over the Laurentian Divide. And the Mississippi watershed, which now has millions of unexpected gallons coming its way, and very warm gallons at that. 45 degrees as this is deep underground water being pumped up to the surface flowing across the land. We can see this is an extensive operation and it's going to take some time to understand what the impacts have been and will be as we continue to wonder how much more damage is being done to the land.